Welcome and thank you for joining us today. We're here to talk about sexual assault on college campuses. At Los Rios, we really want to create a climate where people are comfortable reporting such assaults, and we want to educate the Los Rios community about the options they have when making these reports. Joining us today are Los Rios Police Officer Mike Hasna, Victoria Rosario, Associate Vice Chancellor of Student Services at Los Rios, and Jamie Garrick, who's Director of Counseling and Outreach for WEAVE. Thank you for joining us today. Ms. Garrick, let's start off. Give us a little bit of information on what WEAVE is and why it's so important in the Sacramento County area. Sure. Um, WEAVE is uh, the primary provider of domestic violence and sexual assault services for Sacramento County, and we're the sole rape crisis center for Sacramento County. We've been uh, around since 1978, and we provide crisis intervention services as well as uh, housing, say, uh, emergency housing, transitional housing, counseling services, advocacy and accompaniment for survivors and their families. Okay, let's start out with some basic definitions. Tell us, what does sexual assault and sexual violence mean? So sexual assault is any sexual act that is attempted or committed without the person's consent. And four out of five times, um, it is um, by someone the victim knows. So it could be a boyfriend, a partner, friend, acquaintance, a family member, or a stranger. Okay, and then um, explain the whole concept of consent and not consent and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So consent is yes means yes, and affirmative consent is the law. And what that means is that there's open communication between the two parties. Um, and that you're always talking about it and, and, you're, and permission is um, spoken in terms of consent. And it's also continual in that at any point, consent can be withdrawn. And that's sort of a linchpin between whether something is or isn't sexual assault, mm -hmm. is whether the consent is continual throughout an exactly. event. Exactly. Yeah, and also if someone is intoxicated, unconscious, or underage, um, it's legally impossible to give consent. Officer Hasna, how serious of a problem is sexual assault on the Los Rios Colleges today? Well, sir, just to start off, um, there's about 75,000 students within the Los Rios Community College District, and that's spread over the four main campuses and the six outreach centers. Um, according to the 2014 Clery Report, there was 23 um, sexual assaults that have taken place on our campus, two of which were uh, forcible sexual, sexual assaults, excuse me, uh, four were not forcible. Um, there were eight reports of domestic violence, two reports of um, dating violence, and seven reports of stalking. Thank you. Yes, Ms. Garrick, what are the obstacles to people making reports about these assaults? Yeah, uh, survivors do face a lot of obstacles when coming forward. Um, oftentimes they feel like they won't be believed. They're scared to come forward. So there's fear there. They're also afraid of seeing the person who um, assaulted them because many times it is someone they know. Um, they also, um, around surrounding sexual assault is sometimes feelings of uh, shame, blame, embarrassment. Um, yeah, those types of things. Okay, so until recently, students and anyone else on the Los Rios colleges who wanted to report a sexual assault had two options. They could report it to a law enforcement agency or the Los Rios Police Department, or they could report it to a Title IX officer on campus. And uh, the reason why we're having this conversation is today is because Los Rios is fortunate enough to be, having, to be adding a third option, which is the Weave Confidential Advocate. Uh, for the first time, Los Rios, in partnership with Weave, will have a confidential advocate on each of our college campuses rotating throughout the district who is a specially trained advocate who can provide a wide range of information, support, and referral for students, staff, and faculty who want to report sexual assaults. Dr. Rosario, why do you think this new option of a Weave confidential advocate is so important at Los Rios? Because it's really important for students to know that they have this alternative, which is different from what we've previously had on our campuses. It provides students with an opportunity to make a confidential report to someone, and that is whether or not they want to report this as a crime, that they still will get the support that they need from the Weave Confidential Advocate. So by partnering with WE, we are demonstrating to our students, one, that we care and that we're trying to give them as many choices as they need to feel comfortable in taking the next step. Thank you very much, Dr. Rosario. We'll get back to the weave option in a moment, but let's start off with the Los Rios Police Department. Officer Hasner, why don't you tell us a little bit about the department and also what would happen 
in the process of someone reporting a, an assault to the Los Rios police? Yes, sir. Um, our department is post-certified. We have armed officers that perform various functions on our campuses. They're available 24-7, and they're at all the outreach centers as well as the four main campuses. And if someone were to step forward and want to report a sexual assault to the Los Rios police, give us an idea of how that would happen, how that would play out. Absolutely. That would come into us as a phone, as a call for service. We would respond out, and our initial priority would be to ensure that the scene was safe for the reporting party as well as for the rest of the campus. Once we have established that the scene is safe, we would go into confidentiality, which every reporting party has the right to confidentiality as far as reporting goes. We provide different options and different resources that would be available on our campus as well as off campus, um, even including WEAVE. Um, from there, um, within the regulations of our memorandum of understanding that we have with our allied agencies, we would either refer the report to an outside agency or we would follow up on our, on our end and um, pursue prosecution with the district attorney's office. And all of the calls come in through our 24-hour dispatch center, and the phone number for that is area code 916-558-2221. Thank you very much, Officer Hasna. And again, the phone number to contact the Los Rios Police Department is at the bottom of your screen. Okay, let's move on to the second option, which is Title IX officers. Dr. Rosario, start off, please, by telling us what is Title IX. Title IX is a federal law that prohibits sexual discrimination. And sexual assault and sexual violence are forms of discrimination. Right, so what is the role of the Title IX officer on the Los Rios campus? So I think the role of the Title IX officer is twofold. One, and probably most importantly, is that they want to make sure that the student is feeling safe, that the student is aware of their rights to confidentiality, that they are connected to the resources uh, that exist not only on campus, but those that we're now putting in place through our partnership with WEAVE, and to allow them the opportunity, if they choose to, to report to the police department. Could you talk a little bit more detail about how the Title IX officer process works if a student were to approach a Title IX officer to, to report a, a sexual assault? So they are responsible for overseeing the investigations. They are responsible for ensuring that uh, all of the students that are involved in these claims are treated fairly and they are responsible for adjudicating and determining what the penalties might be for those that are accused of such crimes. Great, and as Dr. Rosario said, each college has its own Title IX officer, and the online directory to contact those Title IX officers is at the bottom of your screen here. Now let's move on to the third choice. Um, Ms. Garrick, we were talking earlier about the Weave Confidential Advocate. Could you talk a little bit at first about what kind of training Weave confidential advocates go through in order to be in a position to provide this sort of counseling? Mm -hmm. Our advocates um, go through a 68-hour training um, and once they complete that training they are certified as domestic violence and sexual assault peer counselors in the state of California. And say a student or another member of the Los Rios community were to approach a confidential advocate from Weave. Tell us a little bit about how that process would play out. Sure, where the Weave Confidential Advocate provides confidential assistance to anyone, any student who's disclosing a sexual assault. And they're there for emotional support, they're there for information, for resources, you know, on-campus resources, off-campus resources, um, connecting them to what they need. And also, if that student does choose to report to the police or to the Title IX officer, the Weave Confidential Advocate can assist and accompany them through that process. Very good. Oh, and sorry, in order to, uh, in order to reach the Weave Confidential Advocate, uh, a student can contact us by phone. Uh, that phone number is 916-568-3011 or through email, and that's weaveconfidentialadvocate at losrios.edu. And the uh, student, if they leave a message or an email, our advocate will call them back right away and set up uh, an appointment to meet with them in a private and confidential space on campus. Great, thank you very much. And again, the phone number and the email to reach out to a Weave Confidential Advocate is at the bottom of the screen here. Now, Dr. Rosario, uh, I think uh, Ms. Garrick did a great job of laying out what the role of the Weave Confidential Advocate is. How is this going to actually work on the Los Rios College campuses? Is there going to be office space for them? Is going to be, are they going to be, are there going to be confidential setting? Talk a little bit about what the interaction will be between a student and say a Weave Confidential Advocate at a Los Rios College. 
Well, through our partnership with WEAVE, we have 20 hours a week that will be dedicated to each of the four colleges. So the confidential advocate will have a private confidential space designated at each of the four colleges, one day a week for about five hours. And so a student will be able to contact them, as Jamie said, e via email or by phone, and they can prearrange a meeting time at either of the four locations. If a student calls from another site, the Weave Confidential Advocate will go to where that student is. And so through this partnership, we have now someone that's dedicated to this process that can help students no matter where they are at the four colleges. My understanding is that while the Weave Confidential Advocate will be focused on providing this sort of counseling and this sort of advocacy, there will also be other responsibilities for the Weave Confidential Advocate working in partnership with Los Rios personnel on education and outreach. Could you talk a little bit about that, please? Um, our colleges have historically provided opportunities for students to become more knowledgeable about prevention and education of sexual assault. Uh, we've had faculty ongoingly work with Weave directly mm -hmm. to come into the classroom to provide uh, delivery of presentations on sexual assault, uh, consent, domestic violence, and sexual violence, uh, what healthy relationships are, and those things will continue. We'll, we'll just be able to be more coordinated in our, in our delivery. And so each of our colleges will designate an education liaison, a prevention training liaison with the WEAVE Advocate to work more closely on those kinds of topics so that we will see more activities happening not only in the classroom, but outside of the classroom. In our co-curricular programs, programs such as student leadership and development, through our clubs and organizations, uh, through our categorical programs so that we're working with special populations that have a need to, to learn more about this information and, and, and not only how to report, but how to help their friends and their peers uh, with information that's necessary to, to make them feel more comfortable. A lot of our conversation today is focused on folks who want to report sexual assaults and how we're going to respond to them. But there's a third person in this equation, and it seems to be becoming a much more important topic, which is training bystanders to get involved when they might not necessarily get involved. Um, I'd like to ask you first, Dr. Rosario, about that, and then uh, Ms. Garrick, if you could jump in. But tell us a little bit about the concept of bystander training. What does that mean? So bystander tra training, as and we have inc incorporated this topic into our online orientation program for sexual assault prevention and education. That program is called Not Anymore. And there is an entire, entire module that's dedicated to teaching peers, friends, how to not stand by and let something that they believe could potentially be unsafe for their friend to take action. And so bystander training will provide students with the tools that they need to speak up and take action to help protect their friends. Uh, Ms. Garrick, how, uh, how successful and how important is this bystander training approach to halting sexual assault? It's really important because we all have a responsibility when it comes to sexual assault. And so what bystander intervention is about is training everyone about how to recognize the signs uh, and how to respond in a safe manner and how to refer them to help. I think a key takeaway from our conversation today is that Los Rios Community Colleges are committed to stopping sexual assaults and also to making the process of reporting and responding to them as effective, as efficient, and as professional as possible. I think, Officer Hasner, your point is well taken that we don't have a large number of sexual assaults on the Los Rios colleges, but I think we would all agree as well that one sexual assault is too many. And I think the, the, the good news today is that with the addition of this third option for student staff and faculty at the Los Rios colleges of approaching a Weave Confidential Advocate in addition to our Title IX officer option, in addition to the Los Rios police option, is that we now have a very formidable three-legged stool that I think really speaks to the safety and security of our colleges and the district's commitment to safety and security at all Los Rios campuses. I want to thank you for your time today.